everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So, um, yeah, I was kind of nervous about updating the Max because I didn't want to make a lot of uh, wrong choices, but I think we got some good loadouts right now. Um, so the first five mechs here, I left the same. I haven't touched them at all. The, um, the uh, Blackhawk here, I did make some changes to. Um, the two... Um, heavy improved lasers we're okay on this but it's like it you know it just I don't know for me it's not enough damage for a 60 ton mech you know operating with these guys so we had to do something about that so I went ahead and refit this a little bit and we made it a little bit more versatile so I did have a um, integrated uh, AMS on this which I took off and just put a regular AMS on here uh, the mag shot stayed on and just moved the torso for this so we have two medium X pulses in this arm uh, medium and small X pulse in this arm and three or uh, sorry two ER medium lasers and an ER small laser So this is gonna actually be not that bad. I mean this mech is pretty fast so it can close with the enemy I put an advanced zoom on it. So it'll be a little bit easier to hit with the enemy with this thing um, And let the battle computer headshot and the battle computer energy in with this uh, um, breacher headshot um, fire control system I'm going to try and do a lot more headshots with this thing, so I'm hoping if it gets in close it can actually do that. Now, I had to add heavy ferro on this thing to be able to get everything in, and I also added a warfare suite, um, and hopefully I can keep remembering to use the ping and then the ECCM as well, because um, this guy can close with the enemy real fast and use that. Now we're under tonnage slightly, uh, but I've maxed out the armor and everything, so I can't find a, a place to add that extra tonnage. So I just like leaving it as is. So that's this, the Blackhawk. Um, now, uh, the Victor I left as is. We're not going with an artillery mech at this point. I did try to get this thing working with an artillery, but the Victor is set up to use uh, auto cannons. That's part of its um, part of its quirk is that it, you get the bonus with ACs. Hello, yeah, here it is. Accurate weapon AC. So. An artillery weapon is not AC, unfortunately. Um, so plus one accuracy with auto cannons, minus one recoil with auto cannons. We would lose that if we made this an artillery mech. So I would rather leave this as a rack five uh, boat, and I'm going to do that. I'm just going to leave it as is. So that's all I did. <laughs> now the battle master. There was a suggestion uh, in the comments that we make this guy just a straight up PPC boat, and that's what I did. I pulled the large VSPL out this thing, and I actually like the loadout in this now. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, God. It's been a little while since I've played. Oh, not the barracks. Mac Bay. <coughs> sorry about this, guys. All right, so the, the Battlemaster uh, is refit. Now, um, we've got... We had the heavy PPC in here be before, and we had a snub nose piece, P PPC and a large VSPL. So I took the large VSPL out, dropped in two snub noses, got two ER medium lasers to round it out and our heat sinking is like actually really really good with this thing um, just because of the, the basilisk um, uh, armor here in the center which reduces the weapon heat generated by 20 percent uh, which is beautiful and we've got sensors tracker on here now so it's oh I think we had it on here before which means that long range this thing's really good so this guy's going to be standing back and you know hammering people from a distance uh, we got the advanced zoom on here, which would give it a little extra hit. So that's what this guy ended up being. Um, so, I mean, I know these PPCs have damage fall off, but we've got three of them, plus the heavy PPC uh, and the two ERs. So I think we'll be okay. We've got the turret mount in the shoulder here to help these two out, a little bit better chance to hit and stuff. And the cooling jackets and the weapon mounts on this guy. I thought about pulling the cooling jackets and stuff off to put them on the Black Knight, uh, which you'll see here in a second. Uh, but I decided to leave them on this mech just because, you know, I could pull out a whole whack of double heat sinks, which I needed for other mechs. Um, so that's what I did as I just left them in here. Now this mech will be really good uh, for chances to hit. We may end up pulling out the weapon mounts, um, depending on how the black the new Black Knight uh, is working and putting them on that. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, the next mechs that are coming up, it was really tight to get stuff fitting in them. Um, the avatar and the bushwhacker both remain the same. I did try to mess around with the avatar a bit, but it was kind of really working okay. 
so I left it like that. Now the awesome we made a, a, uh, a significant change to. So this guy had the two ER larges, the large improved heavy, and a Thunderbolt um, 10. Now I dropped a light engine and an XL gyro in this thing, so we, we gained a ton of weight. So I ended up putting in the Mark One Zoom. I, we had the uh, night vision on here, I think it was. We, so I pulled in the Mark One Zoom because um, it negates no visual, which is better than not have. What's better than just having night vision, right? So I dropped that in here. Uh, with the weight that we saved, I was able to put another large improved heavy in. Uh, a bunch of prototype double heat sinks, which we needed to add. Upgraded the Thunderbolt 10 to a Thunderbolt 15. Now we don't have that much Thunderbolt 15 ammo. We have a TBM 50, just regular ammo, four shots and then two uh, Thunderbolt Thermos, which we can use, plus two accuracy, right? So we can use these guys. Now this thing's got a minimum range um, of 150 meters. So we're not going to be using this all the time. Our heat efficiency is a little out. So firing everything will be a problem. But if we're not using the Thunderbolt all the time, we're going to be just fine. So that's this guy. I think, I don't know, I think this turned out okay. Um, I'm not 100% happy. I think I think getting better, like more ammo, would be better. Um, but you know, we've got 12 turns of firing with with the Thunderbolt, and it's not going to be firing every turn anyway. So yeah, that, that's how this guy played out. And then we've got the uh, Black Knight, the Omni uh, Omni Knight. So this guy is, has been seriously upgraded. Uh, we've got a pair of large VSPLs and a pair of medium laser exostars. Now it seems like, it feels like it's underpowered because of just two large VSPLs, right? But the range on these is 480 meters. The medium laser exostars, the range on these is uh, 360. So it's a really a close range mech. Now we got a crap ton of double prototype double heat sinks, right? We're, we're underweight, but I've maxed out the armor and everything on this. Um, I added a supercharger to this so we can get into battle faster like we did with the other um, uh, with the other Black Knight. I added um, tracker sensors so that when we're at ex you know, extreme range we're getting a bonus to hit. We've got the advanced zoom mark 1 because having anything more than that doesn't really help because it's up to 450, or 540 meters and these are short range weapons right so um, it's going to work out just fine. Um, and the range finder, we got it. We I, this was the only range finder I had, so it adds got in a bit of base sight, sight distance. We also got a tag still on here, so I'm hoping this guy being able to move into battle just as quick as the other Black Knight that we have um, will be able to switch that supercharger on and off and get him into battle a lot faster. With the pirate fire console control system, it's a breacher, um, so we've got multi track on this, so we'll be able to fire up two different targets at least, each with a large BSPL. Uh, for 130 damage. I mean, it's a little bit drop off and stuff, but you know, it'll do good damage once we're in close. Um, we had to put heavy, heavy Pharaoh in here to fit everything in. And of course the internal repair systems will uh, um, keep us repaired as we're going. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. The heat sinking is not perfect on this, but if we cycle one of these medium lasers on and off or both of them on and off, we should stay under heat, no problem, while maintaining the, the uh, constant fire from the large VSPLs. So that's that guy. And then the archer. So we brought the archer forward and we turned this guy into a melee mech. Now, I don't really have the gear to turn this guy into a phenomenal melee mech, but I, I gotta say, it actually turned out not bad. Not bad at all. So let's have a look at this guy. Now, for a 70 ton heavy mech and it being so old, right, uh, it actually worked out not that bad. So I, I dropped a Clan XL engine in here. Like this thing only cost like 1.7 million in total to put together, and it had nothing in it when we started. So it's actually not that bad. So we got the uh, Clan XL engine in here, which we definitely had to have. We got a double XL gyro in here, which we definitely had to have. I got a 360 core in here, which makes this thing relatively fast. And we've got the Endo TSM in here as well. Um, which activates above 27 heat, which we should have no problem in generating. Um, and yeah, so, I mean, we'll get a bonus walk distance and some mail, extra melee damage when act activated. I put the hardened armor on here, so this thing's going to be very hard to kill. Uh, it's got a bolt-on AMS, and it is carrying the hatchet, uh, which gives plus 50 melee damage. Uh, we've got a retractable blade in each arm, a battle fist in this arm, 
and a lower double plus melee in this arm for increased melee accuracy. So our melee accuracy should be pretty darn good. Now I've got a medium VSPL in here which generates 60 heat and a small VSPL in here which generates 19 heat. I tried to get as, as much as I could in here to generate as much heat as I could. Now I only have a handful of, of hard points. We've only got two laser hard points. So this is really all I could do with the weight that we have um, to, to get this thing working. I had to put the AR-12 sheath beacon in it for um, the uh, ECM. But we've got a, a, a SLDF cockpit which gives us bonus to piloting and tactics. Tactics not so good are so needed but the the piloting is good um, and then improved gunnery which gives us night vision and everything um, but unlike we're not really shooting the lasers to hit anyway if they do hit that's great but really we're firing them off to get the endo TSM up and running um, yeah so that's that now I, I, with this endo TSM I can't get a mask um, or a uh, supercharger not that I actually have a supercharger available, but I have two masks available. I couldn't get one in here with that. So, um, yeah, so it ends up being this way. Now, our movement speed actually isn't that bad. It's 4.8, um, which for this mech is actually pretty darn good. I don't get that speed boost at all. I mean, I will when we, we get heated up and stuff. Um, and the pilot, I think, will give us plus 10% to sprint distance. So that'll help a little bit. So once this guy gets in close, hopefully you can start doing damage. But I, I don't know. I tried to get a 400 core in here, but you just, I, I couldn't do it. I, I Not and put stuff on it, you know what I mean? It would just be, comp have nothing. Um, I wouldn't have been able to put any meal, like any, like any of this stuff wouldn't be on here. So, I mean, it isn't perfect, but we're going to run it and try it and see how it works out. Um, yeah. So that's it for the uh, that's it for that. So our melee damage on this guy, where is it here? Uh, close range. Does it have the melee here? Yeah, melee damage 170. Right, which will be increased by 100 by well, by 50 percent. So that'll be like another 85. So 255 when this is active. So that's a pretty significant hit for a 70 ton mech, you know. So it's not that bad. Now, I don't have anything to reduce damage on this guy, but the hardened armor will double the armor, right? So, um, you know, we have 300 in each torso and 440 in the CT. So this guy can go in and tank the crap out of things while it's beating them to a pulp. So I'm hoping that's how, you know, how it works out. Now, it doesn't have an AMS on it, unfortunately, other than the bolt-on AMS, which should give us enough, just enough to kind of get into melee range. Uh, and then after that, we're, we're going to be out of rounds and things like that. So we'll have to worry about that later. Um, so, yeah, um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm not sure what Lance this guy is going to go in yet. Um, we'll just kind of probably bring it in situationally. Um, it may, we may swap it out for the Bushwhacker or, the, or, you know, the Avatar or whatever. Oh, yeah, the one other minor change, the Avatar... I put the, um, where is it here, Advanced Zoom Mark III on it. Now, the only difference between the Mark III and the Mark I is the distance at which it works to. So the Mark I works at 540 meters, which is where we are most of the time, I think, when we're engaging the enemy. But this one goes up to 1,080 meters, which I think we need more so on an LRM boat because it can engage at a fairly long range. I mean, I think the LRMs are what, 700 and something? 840 meters. Yeah, the clan's 840. Is this 840 as well? Yeah, 840 meters. So, I mean, the Avatar doesn't need to get close now um, because the Mark III ignores um, no visual, which is a huge negative, and plus one accuracy up to 1,080 meters. So, um, hopefully this guy's going to hit a lot uh, better than it has been in, in the past little while. I think that's the same thing as we got we have on here we've got the mark two on this guy which is um a, this one's a little better 810 meters plus act yeah because this is the advanced optics which gives the thermal vision and the night vision and everything as well um so i'm hoping we find more of these guys but we don't i mean we've only got a couple of these everything else has just got the regular um advanced zoom which as long as it negates the uh the uh, no visual within it, its range. That's all I really care about. 
Um, but yeah, this one gives us the extra bonuses for this guy. So I've already got the two missions I want to do for the next uh, two episodes. Um, so we're going to go to the command center here real quick. And we got one against the Capellans today, and then I want to take another one against the Pirates tomorrow. Um, so we've got um, this guy here, which is a capture base um, against the Capellans. And then this one here, a Five Skull, uh, is against a, a pirate convoy. Uh, now there's a couple of other ones down here. Um, the Bug Hunt, maybe. It's against Torian Concordia, but it's an assassinate mission. So, and then leave a mark um, against the Toria Concordia, which is a destroy base. Now, the destroy base, I think, is a little trickier because they're going to have turrets. And I want to test these lances out on stuff without turrets yet. I just want to see how they're going to function. I mean, we already know how the main lance is going to function. Um, but I'm going to take the second lance in um, first here. against. Uh, we're going to go against the compellents here and we capture this base. Um, and then tomorrow we'll take the main lance in, do the supply interdiction, and then we'll see from there how it goes. But we do definitely need to get some good salvage because we are short um, about 1.2 million before our financial report, which isn't that far away. I think it's only like, we're like half a month out or something, or 12 days out. So we should be okay. Um, we should be able to pull off for sure two missions because we got two lances. And then if we got light damage on a few of our mechs, we can pull off another one before the end of the month. And we should be good to go. So let's do this capture uh, base in the Badlands. Actually, I wonder if we should take my mainlands for that one and go and do this one first. Because this is in the lowlands. We're not going to be inundated with heat. And my worry is if we do this one first. Hmm. Hmm. No, let's do this one first. We're going to take our second lance in and go do this one. Let's do this. Max that out. Accept. So we're going to switch our pilots up slightly. So this is the second lance. We're going to leave this part of the lance the same. Switch to lance two. We're going to pull the bushwhacker out. And I'm going to switch uh, jaws and scramble side by each here. And I'm going to bring the archer down and give it to Scramble. Now, if she kills this archer in this battle, I'm going to kill her. I'm just going to space her. Because <laughs> this archer has to survive to the end of the series. Um, so, we'll see what happens. I don't want it to die. But hopefully we can play Stompy Stompy Robots with this archer and squash some vehicles with it. It's been a long time since we've squashed vehicles. Like, a really long time. So, I'm hoping that we can do that a little bit here. So, let's... Um, oh, we're capturing a base here. It almost makes me want to switch it over and go after the uh, the convoy. No, let's just go for the base. Let's deploy it and get it done. Yeah, we know. It's underweight by a quarter ton. That's fine. Alright, here we go. Oh, we got to go up a hill again, eh? Oh, it looks like it's got turrets, too. Yeah, you got that right. I think we need to get up this hill as fast as possible. That's what I think. Um, I mean, we could try and play long range. Like, if we... Like, normally I go up this hill. I mean, you guys have seen it. I go up this hill, and then we fight across this way here. And if, when they have reinforcements up here... You know, we move forward, we take them on in here. Uh, but the other way to do this is to... God, this is really chunky for some reason. Um, I just updated the game, too. Um, is to move along this way. And then push up the hill this way. Let's try it differently today. Um, let's go this way. Affirmative. We got a lot of mechs with long range weapons and I've normally I don't have that. So I want to try this and see how it goes. Now he needs to be a little closer. No sweat. Uh, let's go ahead and activate our supercharger early and see what kind of speed we're looking at here. Okay, that's not too bad. 
That's not too bad at all. Let's go this way. And we're going to pull you back here. Confirm. And then this is the archer. So getting on here. On my way. It kind of sucks that I can't actually fire the lasers and move. On my way. It's pretty quiet. Oh. <laughs> How often does that happen? If I go up on this hill, then I gotta kind of make my way around again to get back down. So we'll go this way. Location confirmed. So this is okay. Awesome. Uh -huh. And we're gonna turn this off. Whoa, thirty percent, eh? Okay, let's get you here now what are we looking at we're looking at turrets hardened gauss emplacement that figures Roger that. kind of pissed I can't fire and like shoot and fire all right quakey Not sure if we're uh, in rack range here, are we? Oh, we are. Not the best chance to hit. We'll leave it at three for now. We'll fire the thunderbolt though. Um, it's a lot of armor, eh? Wonder if we should just let's war, let's front end damage this because I don't see any uh, mechs or anything here. So let's just front end damage this turret. Oh, nice. Two hits at that percentage. I hear ya. So Swifty went ahead and got himself his uh, Warlord ability between episodes, which is nice. Um, man, I don't know. Uh, there was one spot we could shoot from. Wait, where was it? There? No, there? Yeah. Going turbo. We're going to back it up a little bit. I want to get as much shots at range as we can. Limit their chance to hit me. And we'll fire everything but the Thunderbolt. We're going to hold on to that guy, I think, and just fire the rest. Actually, let's Warlord this. And then maybe we include the Thunderbolt. Standard ammo, I think. 82 damage, sure. Firing. Commencing alpha strike. Looks like that. Oh, maybe anything. Oh, that hit too. Nice. That was one of the uh, heavy um, improved lasers that hit the first time. Commander. Um, superchargers down to 10%. percent going to get you up along the, the uh, floor. The the valley floor here we're gonna push close uh, all right Commander. scramble give us a sprint Roger that. remember don't get this mech killed and we're gonna go ahead and okay where is the target the ground do they move it in here attack ground here we go we're gonna go ahead and shoot here. Pulling the trigger. Mm -hmm. uh, crank our heat up a little bit. Commander. Joes. Let's go ahead and finish this guy off. I'm interested to okay. see what our chance to hit is now with this Mark III uh, targeting computer. Yeah, there you go. That's making a difference. Um, I think we want to hold on to the incendiary. I love how they changed this though. Gonna hang on to the incendiary in case any mechs show up. But this should kill this this turret, I think. Yep. That turret is gone. That turret is gone. Alright, one down. Yeah. 
Can't see nothing else. Piece of cake. Well, now we can. Let's get those PPCs working. Working. Not bad chance to hit. We're going to go ahead and Warlord it. Give it a better chance to hit. What does he have? Two LRMs? Yeah, a pair of LRM 20s. It's just not that bad. Firing. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. We'll take that. That's the LRM turret. Did we get it? Systems holding. Oh, we took some damage. All right, what is this? An arrow turret? Heavy thunderbolt emplacement. So it's not that bad. Whatever the other turret is, waiting on you, commander. It's not going to do that much. All right. Can we? All right. Let's uh, hammer this guy. Gotta leave the thunderbolt off. I don't think we need it on this one. Roger that. Firing on target. Now oh, we got one hit. All right. All right, we'll take it. As long as we're not shooting our own guys in the back, that's uh, kind of a bonus, I guess. I'm kind of shocked that there's no um, mechs guarding this base. Yeah, I really am shocked that there's no mechs guarding this base. Beautiful. One less turret. You got that right. Standing by. All right, our supercharger. Don't know if this guy is the right guy to be running a supercharger right now. Double time. Let's go. Okay, that's not bad. And then. Uh, the archer. Right here. Mm -hmm. TSM's not quite active yet, but it will be in a second. Um, actually, do we have, are we in range of this turret? For no, we're not in range. Are we? Oh, we are. Um, and then let's go ahead and target the ground right here. Nice, TSM's on now. It gives us a bonus to walk distance, not this. Oh, that's not good. Yep. Uh, gotta not talk and play. So they changed the rules around laying mines. And I'm not exactly sure how it's all working now, but I noticed some of the... Um, this guy's the Thunderbolt turret, eh? I noticed some of the, um... Hang on, let me just figure out what we're doing here. Listen, kill. Some of the, uh... Eh, it's ballistic. Alright. Um... Firing. Some of the, uh, ECMs have things like able to detect minefields now. So I don't know if you actually have to detect a minefield um, to be able to like know that it's there when you're kind of moving along. I, I'm very, very interested to see how that's going to play out. I'm wondering if we should just... No, we better move up. Yeah, I'm interested to see how it's going to play out in the future. Yeah. So, walking is there. Sprinting is a slight bit more. I guess that's not bad for a 70 ton mech. I wish I... I mean, I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and target the ground here. We're going to leave off the small VSPL and going to confirm. Guess I'll give it to him then. Now I put a double heatsink kit in this mech and the reason why is if we're in close and Ready for orders. 
the enemy decides that they want to just overheat us, um, being able to drop 60 heat per turn as opposed to 30 is a huge deal. So I'm just like, we better leave it just as that. Um, I know it just means that we have to like work a little harder to generate enough heat. But I think it's better that way. Alright, let's see what our Thunderbolt chance to hit here is in direct. 35, that isn't that bad actually. Oh, it looks like I hit a little bit. I'm interested in trying to find um, some high explosive ammo for the, LR, for the uh, Thunderbolt 15. On my way, double time. Yeah, the Conquistador, man. I gotta say, with that, with the supercharger in there and a pair of large VSPLs, I think that's gonna be pretty devastating against some of the enemies. Being able to move in that close, that quickly, Roger. and hitting for 130 with a breacher is gonna be, uh, you know, it's gonna be a hard hitter, I think. We might find out in this battle, I don't know. I don't know. Good to go. Focus. It's kind of a, this is kind of a bad battle right now to be able to determine whether this lance is functioning or not. Yeah, whatever. This awesome's got so much heat sinking. It's like, apply as much heat as you want. Even if I if I just decide not to fire, there's no way in hell, you're, uh, there's like no way in hell um, that it's not going to sink all of the heat. Still no sign of the op four, huh? Okay, multiple engine signatures. All right. Uh. Isn't the local idiots? Are you local idiots? I suppose we'll find out. <laughs> you must be the janitor to turn the lights back. That t turns the lights back on. Facility management professional, eh? We'll find out. Yeah, we know the turret's there. This guy's talking some smack. You go ahead and you talk yourself some smack. What? What do you mean a weapon can fire? Yeah, baby. All right, what, who do we got next here? Standing by. We can't see the enemy, which really bothers me. We got to get up this hill fast. They're gonna, they're gonna take that high ground, and we're gonna be in trouble. Orders. Um. You got range. I'm not worried about you. Let's drop some more missiles on this guy. Hopefully we can get a kill on him. Unlikely, but we'll try it. Yeah, he's not the right pilot to be piloting the missile mech. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, I'm going to reserve you. We need to get some people out of the way here. I'll wait here for now. Yeah, get the fuck up the hill, focus. Oh, for Christ's sake. Uh, let's reserve you. How's it going? It's going good. Get that piece of shit out of the way. We gotta get up the hill. Full speed, no target. Excellent. He's almost in range. Once those enemies crest that hill, they're gonna be in trouble. Commander. Commander. That's as far as you can go. Fucking battle master. I thought about putting a, uh, a mask or a supercharger in the Battlemaster too, but it's you? one of those mechs that moves just fast enough that you don't really have to worry about doing that, so... Uh, you know, it's funny, I know where the enemy is and I'm thinking I'd, I'd take a shot at them, but I think we're going to take a pot shot at this thing too. Time to die. Oh, dude. 
like that, and you're toast. Gotta make you our artillery mech. Or artillery pilot, that is. I hear ya. Alright, Swifty, get your ass up there. That as far as you can go, really? I think the battle master's blocking the way. Wait, that's I don't think it matters. Let's get him up here. Is that turret gonna be in the arc of line of fire? It won't be. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's see what they're doing. Waiting for my opening. Aye, aye, holding. Um, what? Enemy's not moving? Are they even up there? What can I do for you? Huh. I don't even know if they're up there. It sounded like they were, but I don't know. We're a little closer now, so let's hit this guy. Dude, you're so accurate. All out of long range missiles, Commander. No, you got thermos left, it's fine. Can do. Something you can do? Get the hell out of the way. We got guys coming up the hill here. Let's move. Yes, come Sledgehammer! Supercharger off. I love how it flashes like this. It's so good. They they did it an excellent job with this with this uh new menu here. Beautiful. The only thing I'm missing, and I'll show you on the on the uh in a second here, I'll show you on the um, Move order receive. missile mech. The one thing I think they that they should add, if they can, I don't know if they can or not, but if they can do it, it would be great. I'm going to turn these guys off. Fire. Yes! Now that hit something good. 260 damage. That's a big fuck you. Get up here. Alright, we got range on the guy. Look at that too. Like even with the medium VSPL. I I do have the t I don't I don't think I put a targeting computer on this guy, but still a good chance to hit. Beautiful. F him. You sure did. Standing by. You need to get closer. Sprint up this way. All right, let's drop some listen kill on this guy. Actually, I'm going to switch up to incendiary now. I want to save some of the listen kill for better accuracy on the guys in the hill. Who do we got next? Waiting for order. Quakey boy. Keep moving it up, buddy. Understood. Moving fast. This thing is so slow. Is there anybody up here? The, I don't understand. Where is the What's enemy? Up, Let's capture this base and fuck this turret up. On the move. Oops, sorry. I was stepping all over your shit here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Warlord this. Start off with uh, fresh uh, heat sinking here. Going to go ahead and drop everything on this guy. Wow, only 99 damage? Really? Affirmative. Maybe it's hardened. I hear ya. That's probably what it is. It's this hardened. You'd think for a f uh, four and a half skull mission, this thing would be a lot uh, more dangerous here. Might as well drop a thermal on this guy. Right, Commander. Eh. Yeah. Why don't you get over there and tear that guy up? Hauling ass. Got yourself nice and hot.
Let's just go with the one. Oh yeah, man. One less turret. There's the turret. We'll take the base next turn. We're at full resolve. Life doesn't get better than this. Let's get into here, I guess. Marginally higher than the other spot. Marginally. Who do we got left? Good to go. Quakey boy. Take the fastest way up here. We can get up here the next turn, I think. What's up, Commander? Focus. I'm gonna just throw up if um, there's like this is it. There's no enemies that come after this. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. I hope so. Here oh, they are over here. What do we got, Orion? Warhammer 2C, okay. All right, we got some, we got some guys here. Receiving you. What do you say we give these guys a big F you? Crap, I can't. Uh... That's where the dropship lands, so I can't be positioned anywhere near that. I don't remember when it lands. All right, well, I guess we're targeting this guy. That's, uh... He's just outside my range, I think. Two Gauss rifles, HA-20s, two medium heavy lasers, and an SRM-4 streak. Pot shots. Wow, three hits, nice. Nicely done. Got somebody up on the hill. Don't know who or what it is. Waiting on you, Commander. But somebody's there. Going turbo. Yeah, man. You got like look at that. The sight range because of that targeting computer is so good. Uh, I'm gonna leave that off for now. We'll put it on next turn and yeah. Enjoy the heat, boys. Oh, it dropped. Right here. Bastard. You and your double heat sink, whatever you got. Moving. Prototype double heat sink kits. Screw you. Here's some PPCs for you. Yeah, see, this guy's got really good chances to hit most of the time. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Stop whining. Be grateful grateful that you're still alive um, I don't know which way to go let's go this way I got it don't think don't shoot just run do everything think run and shoot let's get this guy Locked on. All right, okay we take one evasion off and that's not bad I, I don't like how they put that stuff in there. Here you go. Yeah, I'm not liking that. But that's just me, because I forget stuff all the time. Alright, Orion. You want to be a jerk? I'll give you a jerky. I'll give you a jerkiness. Oh, okay, we're gonna go after All the right. uh, Warhammer though. He's already dropped heat once, so I don't know if uh, he'll be able to do it again. Let's drop this on him though. Locked on target. At least he'll be standing in fire. I hope, anyway. Should be, no? Yep, he's in fire. Beautiful. Enjoy the flames, buddy. Good to go. At least it's you and not me this time. Uh. Yep. It's still 10% chance to, uh, for that supercharger to F up, so. You want fast? I can give you fast. Yeah, baby, I want fast. Alright, let's go ahead and use our multi target with our breaching shot against this guy. And B. 
it's going to take oh wow okay and then let's turn these off ah it's only 84 eh against this guy because we moved a fair bit too right all right let's uh escape out of this sorry it's taking a second here to back out of this okay there we go just straight up attack this guy yep we'll go with everything oh two hits in the arm there goes his LRM 20 he got that right Oh, what do we got up here? How's that heat? Hey, how's the heat? Destroying all your buildings at the same time? You enjoy that, eh? It's this guy up here. Looks like a crusader. A wraith. Alright, well. Yes, Commander. I think that Warhammer had uh, pr uh, protection on him from, uh, like, yeah, he did. Okay, I'm going to shred this guy. I want the Warhammer 2C parts, so we're going to see if we can pull legs off of that guy. Um, let's go ahead and Warlord this. And um, let's say goodnight, sweet prince, to this guy. Wind it up. Can you hear the sound of that thing winding up? Because I can. Yeah, baby. Okay, that was bad. Now ah, you hit the guy in the ah, fuck you. Ah. I should have known. It was the position we were in. I should have known. Should have known. Good to go. Yeah, he took one in the back. Did he? Yeah, he did. And I think we hit him in the arm too. Um, let's not move anywhere. Ooh, okay. Um, that's interesting. Wonder why it's so low. way higher on this guy oh I bet you he this guy's within the race ECM now that's probably what it is Commencing alpha strike. okay they all got lots of heat there right here mm -hmm. can we get up Don't know if we're going to get there in time. Affirmative. I don't know. I, see, I, what well, here's the thing is I wasn't convinced that a melee mech was really going to work. And my reasoning for it is the large... With the large map sizes, it just, unless it's super, super fast, it cannot close the distance in enough time to be effective. It just can't do it. You know? And that's the problem we were having before, too. Um, yeah, let's keep applying heat to this guy. Is he not generating any extra heat? Kind of weird. Good to go. Well, Run. you just fucked yourself, buddy. Got something for you right here. Wow, even walking all of a sudden. Got it. 
It's the Wraith, though. That's what it is. It's that Wraith. Okay. Reporting negative damage. It is the Wraith. No problem. Spread out a little bit, guys. I don't know if they got anything else back there, but spread out a bit. I'm gonna go ahead. No, I'm not gonna bother warding on this guy. Just fire in it. Wow, maybe I should have. That Warhammer is running ridiculously cool. Ow. I'm getting all shot up. Okay, we gotta go up to that Warhammer. Commander. How far can you make it? Okay. Full speed sounds good. Uh huh. Oh, I gotta keep shooting the ground just so that when I get there I get that extra fifty percent damage. Awesome is not the guy you gotta worry about. Damage is minor, Commander. Orders? Now, there you go. Get to a position where you're not gonna shoot your own teammates. That would be excruciatingly helpful. What do we got in this guy? That's actually good chances. We're gonna shoot this guy up, because he's got ECM like crazy, I believe, on him. So let's shoot him up. Okay, he's unsteady. Waiting for orders. Got it. Back it up slightly. See if we can kill uh, the Orion here. Yeesh. Terrible chances to hit again. Why is it so good on this guy? I mean, is does the war hammer have? I don't understand why all of a sudden this guy's got so much defense. I'm missing something here. And I should be doing this just to see. Target move plus six. No sensors plus seven. What? What do you mean no sensors? And the Wraith. This guy didn't move? What? That doesn't seem to make sense. But I'll take it and fire at this guy. Ooh, nice shot. Wonder if they've only got those three guys. Oh, you just, you're an idiot. Thanks for bringing it in so we can just rip your legs off. Yeah. Yeah. On my way. Let's kill this guy. I want him gone. Enjoy that, buddy. See ya. Waiting for orders. Now let's see what we can do. Well, pretty shitty chances to hit this guy, though. Even. Still lousy chances to hit. Height difference. There's only plus one height difference. Zoom vision minus one. The whole no sensors thing, I'm not exactly sure what... No sensors. Does it because our mech doesn't have sensors? Because we got the, uh, we've got the, uh, what are they called? 
about the sniper sensors. We've got the ones the, for the extended extended range. Uh, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure why that is. Okay, there goes his leg. Report critical hit. Yeah, they've only got three guys. That's kind of a weird six. I don't know why it's only. I don't know why it's so, uh... Is this giving me no sensors on this guy, too? No sensors. I don't understand why it's giving me no sensors. If somebody knows, please mention down in the comments. It's kind of weird that it's saying no sensors. It's still the same. The Exostars have got a better chance to hit than the VSPLs do. VSPL, they're both in the arms. I don't understand. Oh well, let's see if we can pull this guy's leg off. All weapons are go. All right, we got one hit in the leg. That archer's been useless this battle. Good to go. Fuck me. Moving to position. Like why, when they were back there, I had eighty something, and I, and I had must have had sensors on them. But now I don't all of a sudden? I don't understand. Let's not use the thermal and splash damage, our guys. Right, Commander. Wow. No way. Ooh. Yeah, who is right. Yeah. I telling it, yes I am. Alright, move up here. We'll sensor lock this guy, not that it matters now, because I think this is the last person to move. But if we go before him next turn, then we'll get a shot at him. Uh, and then we'll target this guy. See if we can go for the kill. Here you go. Nope. Um, missed. Sure did. Ready for orders. Rax jam, because of course it is. So, do I have sensors on this guy? I do. Why do I have sensors now, but the other guys don't have sensors? I'm missing something. Because this guy's got the... the, um... the same sensors. He's got the extended range sensors. Oh, no, he doesn't! I don't remember what he's got on him now. I'll have to go and check that. There we go. Mech destroyed. Yes, Commander. What the hell? It must have been the Wraith. The Wraith systems were still functioning when he was we because we knocked him down that turn that was what it was in every okay what do you need let's just heat this guy up Yeah, I wish they had this as a pull-down menu. We could just click on it and, and drag down and decide which uh, weapon system you want to use, but whatever. That's fine. Yes, Commander. Okay. Get the solid blue line. And go after this guy's leg. Oh man. Well, thanks on that one. Huh? Have a seat, buddy. Game over. 
I don't think we've got this version of the Warhammer. But, uh... We might be able to complete both of the other models. If we get enough parts from this guy. That's if we want to run with this guy. Oh, shit. Fuck you and your headshots, bastard. Commander. Well, we didn't get a chance to see what the archer could do, but... Uh, we got, ton we got a ton of resolve. Let's go after this guy's leg. Did we hit? Looked like we did. No, we didn't. Oh well. Waiting for orders. Are ya? Okay, it's moving to here. Man, this guy must. He's just like, ah! Stop shooting at me! Roger that. Dude, what's going on with those lasers? Right here. You can't be doing that. Not at times like this. You know what I'm saying? Flames on the way still, huh? Oh, not here though. In. Not there. All right, let's finish this guy off. Yeah, man. Battle master for the win. Beautiful. Let's go home. Mission successful. Well, sometimes you get Bork missions like that where there's like no enemies, so... I guess we'll take it. I mean, it's going to limit the amount of salvage we get, but... I mean, we already kind of know what we want. Yeah, sorry about that, buddy. I shot you in the back. Shoulders hit. That was the other guy that hit him, though. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, Warhammer 2 C's. Now wait, this is the 2C. That's the 80 ton version. I'm just wondering, we have the 70 ton versions in storage. I could get a full Orion. And then just sell it. Regular ER PPC. Well, heavy Gauss rifle. Who had the heavy Gauss rifle? I guess it was in one of those turrets. Yeah, we've already got we got two of these in storage, so we're good. Like Goss, I think is probably one of the most useless weapons I've ever seen. I guess if you were going to be engaging from long range, with 12 tons or 50 damage, yeah, it's no heat, but still, like you're <laughs> just weighing yourself down with a weapon that's going to be like pretty much useless. Uh, End of steel stuff, 340 core, uh, Clan XL engine. I'm going to throw that in because we don't have any left. Um. Fire control system approved. 5% called shot. That's interesting. That's the clan one, right? That's pretty darn interesting. Ferrolamellar. I think if that... Uh, what the hell is this? TBM-15 faint. Less damage, less accuracy. Minus 10% chance to be shot down by AMS. Oh, that's cool. And then the kinetic kill would be nice but I think I think I, if we're gonna do anything I thought we had Warhammer 2c parts I'm pretty sure we might have so I'm gonna grab these three because it might be a different version that we have maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm thinking of something else but we'll find out soon enough we'll take the XL core we'll hang on to it if we need to sell it we can sell it later on but let's see what else we got here all right we got a Wraith part okay ERPPC 55, 55 damage for 45 heat. It's really not worth it. SRM-6 can go. Oh, we got the fire control system approved. That's beautiful. Now this one, we got three of these. We can just drop that. Feral Lamellar, Clan. It's just a lighter. Minus 20% damage taken? Really? Plus 20% structure points. Shit, we're going to hang on to that. Holy crap, that's cool. Ultralight gyro, we've got a few of these. We've got one. We don't need this, though. Uh, the heat bank, we've got two of. We're not really using them. Uh, improved 
well, these small they're small jump jets they can go clan sensors uh, we'll hang on to that I think hyper goss ammo let's we got four we can sell these four double LRMs and SRM streaks can go we didn't do too bad I mean we got a little bit of money there all right 146,000 repairs part of that was my problem but so it's not so bad. We so we we did okay. I mean, we got 1.5 million now. Easily be able to make our financial report. Let's get the awesome up to the top here. Now, how many days before the financial report? 11. So we can't get the awesome back in battle before then. I was hoping to have that second lance running. Well, we we can run it without the awesome. Right? We'll just bring the bushwhacker next time because I was thinking about running the second lance again before the end of the month, just to test it out. Um, I want to see how that archer does against actual targets <laughs> as opposed to like running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Um, at least the proof of concept of having that uh, VSPL, the two VSPLs bring its heat up and then being able to continue along. Just keep keep firing that one VSPL. It sinks 60 heat. The VSPL is 60. It's perfect, you know. So once it gets up over the, uh, the, the 27 cap, it can just, you know, continuously fire that thing off and continue to have its speed so that, that's all right um so i'm gonna get these mechs repaired take the main lance i think maybe we should have ran that lance against the uh against the convoy but we'll see how we what what, what is up in the actual command center next episode maybe i'll wait and do the convoy mission with this lance just so the uh, the archer can get in and squash some vehicles i think the ar archer is going to be one of those um mechs that we just kind of swap in based on the mission so if we're doing an, a, um, a you know am ambush convoy or something along that lines or I, I don't know what maybe if we're facing a lot of a lot of enemies we bring it in um, just because of it's it's the amount of armor it's got on it and the fact that it can get in and punch for like as long as it, it keeps firing that VSPL, it can get in and punch for a significant amount of damage, like 255 or whatever it is. I think it said 200, though, for the melee attack, but I, I don't know. I mean, we'll see how it goes. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoy it. If you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.